This is how I challenged myself to win the best young scientist paper award at a conference. A conference paper is a scholarly document presenting original research or findings, typically presented at an academic conference. The best paper award is given to researchers presenting full conference papers, involves a rigorous competition, where judges select the winners. Fingers crossed. Did they? today is my debut as a researcher do you know what this means i've been waiting for this for so long so this is the banquet we're gonna have dinner <gasps> Chinchin is a snack. Yeah. What am I gonna have? I don't know. What is that? I've seen it in East Asian drama and seen it live. It's so beautiful. Is that king crops? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Why did me appear? I'm simply enjoying this variety of foods right before me. Those familiar with academia or graduate school recognize that being sponsored to travel abroad and present a paper in a conference is a testament to their hard work and dedication put into any such an opportunity. So if you see me enjoying, I've handed it. We'll talk about it soon, so do not forget to like and subscribe. I've been working on this research for months now. Researching is a long process. You have to choose a research topic by reading lots and lots of papers and finding a limitation that you can solve. So it's not about tearing down existing work, it's about building upon them or finding a total new topic area that no one has touched. Now, only three weeks left until the final paper submission and my deep learning algorithm put to train on the data was given poor results. Despite trying and trying and trying to fine tune the hyperparameters and process the data over and over again, my efforts seems futile. I spent late nights in the lab persistently working on the code and just left it overnight hoping for a miracle. And it did happen. I arrived the next day in the morning and the result was good enough to start writing a paper. Racing against time, it's less than two weeks left. I hastily drafted my research paper with the data, results, and diagrams. The initial feedback from my colleagues was disheartening, but that did not stop me. I was determined to go for the conference and hopefully win that award. I revised the paper based on their suggestions. The second round of feedback was positive. Despite the tight deadline, I submitted the paper after further review by my supervisor. Hey lovelies, it's another day in Taiwan and today I'm going to the conference and look at me, looking so chic and formal. I wish I could show you my full outfit, I'll find a way to do that. So. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling my... Also, tomorrow is my presentation day. I'm just pretending I'm okay, but deep down, I'm dying. I'm like, someone save me. Save me. Save Vicky Mama. is over for today so it's time for dinner and let me show you this is the menu <laughs> Time to eat, and we have our 
banchan. East Asia, they eat a lot of banchan. So this is a sugar cane juice. I don't know what that means until I try it. Apple sugar cane. Like, wow. I didn't know Taiwan has such. Have a taste. It's Taiwan there. But it's not me drinking, that's not my hand. So. <laughs> It's time to call it a night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna take a shower because there's not enough time to take a bath and also because I'm saving water and saving the planet okay I listen to you okay I'm taking a shower but definitely after my presentation and it goes smoothly because today is the two day finger crossed I'm gonna take a bath in the night to relax and unwind but for now, my heart is still racing. Wish me long today. I'm having green tea. The light will let you see it. This is my debut as a researcher. Do you know what this means? I did my masters, I never published a paper and that's something I don't even want to discuss. I submitted my papers to a conference called ACSR, um, Asian Conference, held in Taiwan this year. And again, there's a prize. I, I um, registered for student award because yeah, I need an award, man. I student an award criteria, they're going to check the paper and the presentation. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that my name gets called out after everything. I've watched other presenter present, other researcher present. I visited my um, presentation hall. It's a big hall, over 200 people or more. I'm going to be seated with people that probably don't know about my research or even have more ideas than I do. But I want to be confident. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I've read a lot of um, um, topics on presenting, public speaking, how to um, quench the nerve, how to be able to speak louder. I've been trying. My supervisor is going to be there. And I don't want to disappoint myself, my family, or my supervisor. I'm going to be filming some expect i'm not so nervous now but i'm sure i'm probably be when i get there and i found out there's a word for it see there's always an english word for any problem it's called claustrophobia so i'm suffering from glossophobia that's a fear of public speaking <laughs> me all glammed like ah oh, i can't be this glammed ah uh, and not say anything right 
So I have my presentation slides on my phone, which I'm going to be practicing on my way there because I'm the fourth presenter after lunch. So I have until this morning till after lunch to think about this so I can collect the award in person because yeah, this is my debut, my baby. So I want to be there to take it. I don't want anyone else to take it for me. What if they ask me questions I cannot answer? What's the professional way of saying it? I'll be like, oh, this will be part of my future development. Thanks for spotting that. Or right now, I can't think of anything, but we could speak about it after the presentation. Or oh, here is my email. Could you send me an email? Something like that. See you at the venue. I'll probably do a quick tour. So I arrived at the conference. As you can see, Asian conference of the month something. Yeah. I think it's time to eat. Coffee break. So let's have some snack. Let's join the line. I feel hungry actually. Can we imagine a world where we can acquire high quality satellite image irrespective of the satellite capability and this can be used to monitor climatic change or urban development and more? That would be nice, right? Um, that would be the focus of our discussion today. And let's look at the background. Why is this research so important? Satellite imagery enables efficient mapping and monitoring of the Earth's resources and ecosystem. It is essential for capturing detailed information, but there are some limitations. You can see in the satellite um, constraint, there is like atmospheric disturbances. Imagine there's a heavy rain or a storm. So we need to develop a means to make sure the channels are the same. Um, let's look at a, a powerful super resolution model called SWIN IR. Um, so my presentation is over and it went not so bad at least. So now I'm free to bye bye. And the winner. So I'm heading over. Thanks for watching. This is how. This is a training type thing. Yes. Thank you.